Welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. In the last part, we battled Justy. And then we came here to Agate Village, which is much nicer than battling Justy. We looked all the way around town and talked to everyone there was to talk to. We got some held items for our Pokemon. We also snagged a Pokemon back in Pyrite Town that we didn't snag previously. That's Mistrevis, and he is in our team right now, leading it. So we have nothing left to do here in Agate Village but to come in here and see Ruby's grandparents, so let's do that. Wow. Grandpa Egan! Grandma Bella! I missed you! Ah, Rui, welcome, welcome. We heard that you were coming, but then you didn't arrive. We were worried about you, dear. You finally arrived. What held you up? I just had this terrible time. On the way here, I was abducted by those creepy people. Luckily, I was saved by Ekla, who just happened to be there by coincidence. Oh, how frightful. Thank you so much for saving our granddaughter. But why would anyone want to harm Ruby? It's probably because I can see those bizarre Pokemon. They're shadow Pokemon. Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines with hearts of darkness. Shadow Pokemon? What on earth is that? Well... Help! There's trouble! <sighs> Egan, it's a serious situation. Some outsiders went into the Relic Forest. What? Who were they? I don't know, they shoved me aside and... That's enough talk, it can wait, I'm off. Wow, look at him go. Oh, I guess we should follow him, but first, time to check the news. We have received breaking news. Mira B, the brutal crime lord of Pyrite Town, has been defeated and driven out of town. Reports claim that two young people were behind Mira B's downfall, their identities and where they came from are unknown. Thanks to their heroic work, Pyrite Town should hopefully return to its peaceful ways. Yay, that was us. We're famous, Rui. Okay, well, we should probably go and help Egan, but let's talk to you first. Outside is fouling the Relic Forest. That mustn't happen. But I worry for my husband even more so. Rui, dear, please go after him. Well, I guess I will go too. I have a feeling... I know who might be causing trouble. But, uh, Egan looks pretty cool, actually. I really like his design. The robe is cool. This is not the way we need to go. So, we need to head down here. We checked out this place previously. And now there's no one blocking our way, so we can go in here. Ah. Hello. The Lilac Power Ranger, I see. We're probably gonna have to battle you. Hmm. I know we just got Mistrevious, but I really want to use Umbreon a little bit more, because, as I said in the last part, I don't want him to fall behind in levels. Hey, what? Here comes another meddler! That old man earlier, he trampled me when I let down my guard, but that won't happen again! Sounds like Egan still got it. Cypher Peon Dovin. Sveal and Carvana. Okay. Nothing we haven't seen before, I don't think. I think we just unlocked Ferret's last move. Yes, strength. Oh, yes. That sounds like a good move, so let's use it straight away. Yeah, that was a load of damage. Good stuff, Ferret. So, I just want to take this moment to thank everyone who left comments on the previous part, giving me suggestions for nicknames. I'm just gonna... Gonna give it a little bit more time to stew and have a bit more of a think about it before we do any nicknames for sure. But I think, uh, I think I like some of the suggestions. Let's finish you off with another strength from Ferret. Good hit! Oh my goodness, Ferret, you're so strong. I really like Ferret, actually, and I kind of want to keep it on the team as a permanent fixture. I don't know why, it just really appeals to me. Ouchies! <laughs> okay. Why are the villagers here so ridiculously strong? 
That is a good question. Well, probably something to do with the fact that they were formerly expert trainers. You clearly didn't know where you were coming. Uh, right, so Furret has unlocked its last move. And as a result, I feel like I want to swap it out. But we'll keep it in the party for now because it is doing some work in terms of damage. I think that Silk Scarf is certainly helping. Uh, let's lead with Dunsparce and we'll keep Umbreon as well. Just for the experience. Hello? No, forget about it. You're not going on any farther. Huh, we'll see about that. I have definitely thought that said Stilton for a moment, but no, it's Cypher Peon Silton, so he is not Cheese. Shroomish and Cacnea. Ah, uh, a Cacnea. That brings back awful memories of two days ago. Okay, well, Dunsparce. You have Glare now, that's pretty good. Let's get rid of these guys. And that is that. Silton. Roadblock attempt failed. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly did, buddy. Ah, phooey. I'm not feeling well today. That sounds like an excuse to me. I really like this cave. I like the flowing water. I like the roots from the trees. It's nice. It's a very small area. Oh, hello. Boo! <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Cass? You're not going to give me uh, some kind of riddle that is going to lead to a shrine, are you? I'm sorry, I have Breath of the Wild on the brain. I just uh, completed it, all shrines and everything. and It was an enjoyable experience, but certainly certainly a long one. Fantastic game, though. Anyway, we're playing Pokemon Coliseum. Okay, so there's a Roltz and a Baltoy. I was just about to say that we're kind of, um, kind of running out of unique new Pokemon. For a long while, a lot of the Pokemon in each battle were unique and uh, Pokemon that we hadn't seen before, but it's getting to the point now where we're seeing more repeats, which I suppose had to happen eventually. This game can't have every single Pokemon in the series in it. But there's a Curlia. I think that's the first one we've seen. Don't you be using your cosmic power. It's just going to make this take even longer. I really need to stop complaining about the length of battles. Curlia's animations are great. Oh, look at that, so graceful. I really like Curlia. I actually like Curlia more than any of the other um, Pokemon in the evolutionary line. I think Roltz is cute. I think Gardevoir's great. I think Gallade's cool. But I don't know, there's something about Curlia as that middle form that I just really, really like. I feel like that's often the case for me, actually. I seem to like the middle form of a lot of Pokemon more than the fully evolved or the first form. Uh, Brion is one of my favorite Pokemon, though I'm not a massive fan of Poplio. I think it's cute, but eh, its design didn't overwhelm me, but Brion is fantastic. Hey, Umbreon grew level 32. Really tanky now, that special defense almost at 100 already. And still able to dish out a fair amount of damage, given that that Boltoid did have two cosmic powers up at the time, and now three. And Umbreon is still three levels behind it, still being able to put out a fair amount of damage, which is nice to see. Can't really comment on Dunsparce at the moment, since it's only really shadow rushing things. It's doing a decent amount of damage, it's nothing overwhelming at the moment. I'd like to see what moves it gets as it, as it levels up, or as it unlocks its heart gauge, because it has Serene Grace, and I think that's a good ability that we can make some use of. I'm shocked over this loss! Man, those boots, though. Seriously. So good. Little boy, you're shockingly strong. Is that all you got to say? Alright. Well, it's time to make our way out here, then. What's going on out here? I like the music. This guy is dancing. Oh, Rui, Egan's in a heap of trouble. What should we do? What should we do? 
Egan might be the mythical trainer, but he's pushing his luck if he thinks he can battle at his age. Well, apparently you already beat down one of the people in the cave, so I don't think he's... I don't think he'll have too much trouble. You. Who are you? What are you doing here? Although you may ask why we are here, we simply can't answer that. I can see that you are a senior citizen, but I can't allow you to interfere with our affairs. You're the ones interfering. Shady creeps like you. I'll personally run out! <laughs> now, now. Someone so old shouldn't overdo it. Don't take me for a fool. I'll have you know I was once hailed the most powerful trainer. That isn't all, either. I have a comrade with whom I've been through thick and thin. This is the first Pokémon I got, and it's been with me ever since. Okay, Pikachu, we haven't battled much in a while. Let's keep focused. Cypher Peon Scrub. <laughs> Are we gonna get to watch this battle? That's pretty cool. And it's gonna be a single battle, wow. Myth Trainer Egan. Yes, Pikachu! And it's using Quick Attack after being intimidated. This might not go well. And it's a Shadow Hitmon on top. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, Pikachu, you're alright, dude. Hang in there. The static procced. That's something, at least. You gotta use more than Quick Attack, though. Oh, and a miss as well. I wonder if this battle is scripted. Oh, critical hit. Alright, well, Egan, you gave it a good shot, I suppose. Oh, Pikachu looks so sad. I wonder if that battle is scripted, and if it exactly plays out like that every time. Or if things like the static procking are a random chance. Maybe that battle can go in a slightly different way. <laughs> Didn't I already say? An old man shouldn't overdo it. Grandpa! Pikachu! How dare you! You'll never get away with this! Ah. Now here's someone who may show me a more enjoyable time. Very well. On guard. Alright, Scrub, let's throw down. What else has he got? A Wynut and a Clam Pearl. Okay. Interesting choices. Jeez, level 36? That is, uh... It's pretty tough. We got this, though. We can handle this. Not a problem. And the Wynut's level 37. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's put Glare to use. It's a 100% accurate paralysis move, which is relatively rare, all things considered, so make use of it while we have it. We should be able to deal with Wynut without too much trouble. Oh, no. Okay, well, last part was the evasion part. Today is the defense part, it would appear. Counter... It's not going to work when I'm using Bites. We always play this kind of lottery when we're fighting a Wynuts or a Wobbuffet. Does it pick the right counter move is always the question. It didn't, so we got rid of it without too much trouble. If he's about to send out Hitmontop though, I might want to switch, since both my Pokémon are weak to fighting. Yep, there it is, it's a Shadow Pokémon. And Intimidate as well, yeah. Umbreon can probably handle himself, but we'll switch Dunsparce out. Yep, definitely a good time to switch Dunsparce out, I think. Let's put Mistrevis in and see what he can do. Umbreon... Why don't you confuse Hitmontop? I'm confident in Umbreon's tankiness. And, uh, Mistrevis being a ghost type could be quite helpful here. Well, if it's gonna use Shadow Rush, then I guess not. Damn, that does a lot of damage. Confuse Ray, though. Always reliable. If that Clamp Hole could be paralyzed at any point, that'd be great. Oh, Mistrevis, no. <laughs> oh, no! Your beads! Alright, well, let's bring out Furret then. Furret is someone I trust to get the job done. Yeah, let's... Hmm. Let's try and get rid of all of his other Pokemon. I know Hitmontop hits really hard, actually, yeah. Hitmontop, we will try and snag you. 
And let's... Let's bite Clampo. See how much this does. Oh, wow. Not a lot, actually. Okay, if you could maybe hit yourself in confusion or actually be paralyzed at any point in this battle, that'd be fantastic. Also, triple kick only hit once. That's weird. Hmm. This clamp hole hits surprisingly hard, actually. We'll use Furret with strength again, but on Umbreon's turn, we are going to heal up Furret. Super Potion. That'll do for now. I think Ferret hits a little harder than Umbreon at the moment, especially with the Silk Scarf boosting strength power. There we go, it hit itself. Nice. Hmm. I think Ferret can maybe take one more hit. How do I want to do this? I don't like keeping on switching and switching, but we are going to do that. And we are actually... What if... Hmm. I kind of want to bring Dungsparce back out and try and paralyze the... Uh... Hmm. I want to try and paralyze the Hitmontop. Now, nah. we'll... Uh... We'll just try and snag it and see what happens. We have Ultra Balls, let's use them. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, first try. Nice. Wow, hit one top. That could be really powerful, actually. Alright, SB on your time to shine. First time we're seeing you today. How are you doing? This Clampo really doesn't like being paralyzed, apparently. Okay, uh, well, let's get rid of it. Post haste. Pretty beefy. But not beefy enough. Delicious. I've actually never eaten clams. I'm quite a fan of seafood. I like squid. Uh,. Just most seafood, but I've never really had anything in a shell other than crab and ouch. And lobster. Never had oysters, never had clams or anything like that, so... Not sure what it tastes like. Maybe I'll try it one day. I'm quite lucky in that I live quite close to the sea, so... Uh, seafood is readily available and usually quite good. I can't believe I'm talking about seafood right now. I really don't have much else to talk about as we finish off this battle. Let's see what Pseudo Widow can do with Shadow Rush, our highest level Pokemon. And it certainly hits hard enough. Good stuff. Alright, well, we beat Scrub. It was trickier than I thought it would be. I should have declined. Well, you didn't really have much choice. I had been instructed to capture Celebi, then destroy the Relic Stone, but matters have not gone according to plan. I shall have to immediately inform Dakim, who has gone to Mount Battle. Why would you tell me that? Wow, he really is a scrub, huh? He left that file behind as well. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm fine, but my partner... Oh, Pikachu! Ah, you're safe. Good, good. You battled with honor. If your opponent was any ordinary Pokémon, you would have won. So that was a Shadow Pokémon. Rui, and Ekla, am I right? Thank you for helping us. We should go home for the time being. Wait, but the file! Ugh. You really had me worried. Please don't do anything so rash and dangerous again. I'm sorry, dear, but I couldn't very well let them have their way. Look at the mudkip on the wall. Hell yeah. Those crooks. They said they were out to capture Celebi and destroy the Relic Stone. Hmm. Why? Might there be a connection between Celebi and Shadow Pokemon? 
Oh no, that's no good. We came here because we thought you would know something, Grandpa. Hmm. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, oh yes. Dear, didn't we have a stone tablet? It had something about the relic carved into it. Ah, yes, we did have such a stone tablet. Now, where could I have put it away? Let me go look for it upstairs. It may take time, so please be patient. While she's looking, you might try gathering more information on Celebi, Rui. Go and see an old man named Cinelor. He lives near the Pokemart down the hill. Cinelor is the authority when it comes to Celebi. That is, if he remembers. Great. That doesn't fill me with hope. Well, I don't think there's much to look at around here. I want to find out what happens if we go upstairs, though. Sorry, dears, I still haven't found it. Now, where could I have put it? I'll be sure to find it. Just be patient, please. Okay, just checking. I really like that um that carpet. The stripes. Pretty cool pattern. Oh, Rui's going back upstairs, apparently. Oh, she magically appeared here. Yay. Well, this is the Pokemon, right? So, if he lives near the Pokemon, then... Is it you? No, you're Scoff. Oh, yeah, I battled you. So maybe it's either you or in this house here? It sounds as though you two had quite the adventure. I hope Egan is feeling fine. It's certainly an accomplishment for a man that age to battle with criminals. The mythical trainer's legend grows. Well, he gave it his best. Wait, did we come in this house? Yeah, we did, because I talked to you. Let me have a peek at your Pokemon. My, my, for some reason. You seem to have a Pokemon whose heart door is closed. It may take time, but battling is the best way for a trainer to build a trusting bond with their Pokemon. Battle together with your Pokemon often, and it will open its heart to you without a doubt. Yeah, well, that's the plan. Uh, I've never looked at these uh, the books and such on the bed, but um, that's a nice touch. We really should go to a Pokemon Center, though. Again, that's the way out of town. Oh, maybe it's that house up there that we didn't go to. Well, let's heal our Pokemon first, and I want to have a look at this hit one top, and I also want to maybe switch around the party a little bit now that Furret has unlocked all of its moves. I want to make use of our party slots effectively and open some more heart gauges, so we'll do that. All right, I added hit one top to the team. Level 38, pretty tough with Intimidate as we saw, and is holding a black belt, so that's quite useful. I did deposit Furret in the end because everyone else needs to be on the team, I think. We need to be lowering the heart gauges of Dunsparce, Pseudowoodow, and Mistrevis. Mistrevis has got Confused Ray now, which is good. Pseudowoodow is still taking its time, hasn't unlocked another move yet, and neither has Dunsparce. But we are going to give Dunsparce the... I really do got to stop doing that. There we go. We're going to give Dunsparce the Silk Scarf. He has no use for it yet, but... Being a normal type, I would assume that it will get a normal type move at some point. So that's my logic behind that. So let's go and see if we can find this old man. Probably not down there. Oh, did we miss this house entirely? We might have. Senelor? Oh, right, you wanted to see my dad. He's been getting pretty forgetful lately, though. I'm afraid he might not be much help to you. Ah, oh, you're Egan's beloved Torchic. No, wait, who did you say you were? What's that? You wanted to ask me, Senelor, about Celebi? Have no fear, no problem. Forget something that's important? That's not gonna happen. Let me start with the relic in Relic Forest. According to ancient lore, the relic is said to hold the power of time travel for Celebi. That mystical power is said to revive the most pleasant, enjoyable memories of Pokemon. If only it worked on me and brought back my memories of my youth. Oh. Would you like to hear more? Yeah. To meet Celebi directly, you must use an item called the Time Flute. That is all one needs to bring Celebi to the Relic Forest. Celebi will surely cause darkness to flee from the hearts of any Pokemon. Ah, interesting. Well, 
We're doing a pretty good job of it on our own at the moment, but I wonder if we can find ourselves a time flute. Before we do anything else, I do actually want to go back to the relic stone, because there was a file on the floor there that it doesn't look like we picked up. So I want to go back and grab that. We're back. That guy earlier, he said something about Mount Battle, didn't he? That worries me. I hope nothing happens. Was that the place um, that we went to visit where the cog was hidden? The Colosseum place? And we found an iron file. Iron file C is written on the cover. Celebi's power. The purification of the shadow Pokemon has several factors. Celebi appears to have the power to boost the purification process. If a shadow Pokemon encounters a Celebi, it recalls how its heart was before being closed and reverts to its original form. The Relic Stone of Agate Village also appears to have the power to complete the purification process. These factors must be eliminated if our shadow Pokemon plan is to succeed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Ein. Really? This is a mystical relic, it seems to be giving off a strange and fantastic power. Doesn't look like we can do it, anything with it yet. But if that means that we can completely purify our shadow Pokemon and return them to regular Pokemon, then that may be changing how I play the game. Because if we can purify Pokemon entirely and start gaining experience with them, I might build a a solid team. I'm, am I going the wrong way? Do I have to go this way? I literally just came here and I can't remember how to get back. Oh, it's this slope here. It doesn't really look like a slope from that angle. But we got that iron file. We've talked to... What's his name? I was about to call him Shalador, but that is completely the wrong game. We talked to the old man about the time flu. I wonder if we come back here, if something will happen. It looks like it. Ah, Rui. Welcome home. I finally found the small tablet. That is the small tablet that has been passed down through our family over many generations. Examine it. Yes, sir. We got the small tablets. There are words carved into the small tablets. In Agate's mystic relic, Celebi's power shelters. A heart imprisoned by shadows, its last door shall be opened by the power within. The relic must have some effect on shadow Pokemon. I will leave that for you to determine for yourselves. Okay. Do you have anything more to say? No, you say the same thing. Rui. Thank you. I hope that small tablet is something useful to you. I think it might be. Oh! The PDA received an email. That's the first time that's happened. Oh, Eckler, your PDA just rang. Yeah, that's kind of why it rings. Oh, right. It might be duking with some news. Quick, let's check it out. Okay. Email. Emergency! Duking of Fireite Town. Eckler, we've got big trouble. I've just got word from our people that Mount Battle's under attack by a mysterious group of thugs. Please, can you go help? We think it's the same group that One Mirror B belonged to. We're counting on you. Hmm. Well, it seems like we need to be going to Mount Battle sometime soon. Well, before we do that, I think we need to definitely go back to this relic. What? The crooks are loose on Mount Battle now? That's awful! We can't let this go on, Eckler. Let's go! Oh, oh, wait. Grandpa, where is Mount Battle anyway? Mount Battle is to the northeast. You can see it in the distance once you leave the village. Hurry, Rui. Well... We're not exactly gonna hurry, because there are a few other things I want to do before we proceed. And first is go back to this relic again and see if there's anything we can do with it. But to do that, in fact, I think we should bring a Pokemon that is... Every time, every time I go down that ramp, it leads out of town, not to where I need to be. I think we're going to bring a Pokemon that has had its heart gauge fully emptied, if we have one. I know that we got them down to, like, the last step to unlock the last move. But it said the last door, right? So I'm guessing... So Mantine is on the last step here. It says the door to its heart is almost fully open. But I'm guessing that you would have to go through the process to fully purify it. I'm not sure if we can do it from where they are now, or... Oh, here we go. Yeah, Makuhita. The door to its heart is almost completely open. Undo the final lock. So we will swap out... We're probably not going to battle, so let's just put Espeon away for a moment, because uh, walking also reduces the heart gauge, so let's be as efficient as possible. So Makuhita's all the way down to the final lock. I knew I'd seen this somewhere before. So, let's see if we can purify Makahita. There's a Pokemon that may open the door to its heart. 
Yeah, it's Makahita. Makuhita opened the door to its heart. Makuhita regained the move Foresight. Makuhita regained 2,180 experience points. Nice. And obtained a ribbon. Would we like to give a nickname to Makuhita? Not right now, I can't think of one. I'm really bad at thinking of them, which is why I asked the commenters to please give me nickname suggestions. But Makuhita is now no longer a shadow Pokemon. That's fantastic. And it got a bunch of experience that actually didn't level it up, but still it got a bunch of experience, which is nice. And its Shadow Rush was replaced by Foresight. Well, that's really cool. In terms of keeping it on the team, I'm probably not going to since now we have Hitmontop as a fighting type. And if we can purify Hitmontop completely, I think it would be even better than Makahita. But that's really cool that we can do that. And it certainly changes, I think, how I'm going to play the game a little bit knowing that we can now level up Pokemon once we've purified them. I think it's going to be a process, since we do have a lot of Pokemon we need to purify. And what I'll probably do is all of the ones that we've worked on until now that are on their last step, I'll probably just put them in the party, run around, get them to the point where we can purify them and purify them, just to say I've done it. Uh, I'll probably do that off camera, because I don't expect there to be anything particularly interesting. And maybe I'll just run through every Pokemon that I did in one clip. And I will probably do that after I'm finished recording this part. But as for now, there's one other thing I want to do before we proceed to Mount Battle. And that is go this way and get out of town. I don't know why. This is not a confusing town. It's just really confusing me, apparently. So it looks like we can go to Mount Battle in the northeast or the due north of the region, but first I want to go back to Fenac City. Because I looked at the strategy memo previously, and we didn't have any information in there, even though we'd snagged the Pokemon. A commenter let me know that you have to go back to the teacher in Fenac City to do this, to get the information on the Pokemon that you have, um, that you've snagged. Which, I mean, we were here just like last part, because of Justy, but I didn't know that then. Okay, so can you... Oh, I guess you met a new Pokemon also. Let's update your data. Okay, here you go. I hope you study it carefully. Okay, so is it done? Is it just done for every Pokemon that we've snagged? Strategy memo. Uh, so what have we got out of this list? We got Bayleaf. Yeah. So we got some information about Bayleaf. Okay, that's nice. Nothing particularly game-changing, but it's a nice little feature to have. I like it. Okay, that didn't take too long. Now, I have a feeling that when we go to Mount Battle, things are going to get a little bit hectic again. So what I'll do is I'll finish the part here, then I'll run around, I'll purify some Shadow Pokemon, and in the next part, we will head off to Mount Battle. So... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.